Every video, I give away 10 million coins. And here's a one last video. If you didn't win, all you have to do to win this video is like, subscribe, and comment your IGN on this video. Now the video can begin. Now, obviously you clicked on this video because you've seen a YouTube title that you never thought would be possible, but I can assure you that this is actually something that is extremely overpowered and something you've definitely seen before. I can explain how I did this using one word, negotiating. Now, obviously that is not how I was able to make the 150 million coins, but it is about 90% of how I did it. You see, when someone comes up to you with a very, very heavy asking price, that doesn't mean you have to give it to them. Now, I know that seems kind of obvious, but what I mean is people will move a lot off of their base starting price if you just throw them an offer. For example, someone comes to you and wants to sell you their brand new Terminator for 800 million coins, and you proceed to offer them 500 million coins. The odds of someone getting really upset with you for offering something like this is really high, but don't give up on it just because of that. They can come back and say, sorry, but 700 million is my lowest. And you come back and offer him 675 million, it's really hard to turn away from a really small difference like that. Now, let me show you exactly what item I bought and how I was able to make this 150 million coins in just 5 minutes. The item that was brought to me was a level 100 tier boosted ender dragon pet with a neon red skin. Now at the time when I bought this item, ender dragon pets were right around 570 million coins with a tier boost and the skin alone was 444 million coins. So in total it was worth around 1.01 billion coins. So obviously this guy wanted a really really high price for this item and rightfully so this was a really really nice item. So I had to do what I talked about earlier and that has become a very good negotiator. I am going to try to remember the best way that I negotiated this item so you guys can try and replicate it. His starting offer was extremely strong and very high at 850 million coins. So I then asked him what is his absolute lowest price on this item. He then told me his absolute lowest price was 700 million coins. While he already dropped 100 million coins in price, I still didn't believe that that was his very, very lowest, so I decided to throw him out a very generous offer. I then offered him 640 million coins, which made him really, really mad, and he actually left my island and didn't come back for a little while. Now, at this point, I figured that this deal was completely off the table and done just because they left, and usually people don't like to come back. Now, he did actually end up coming back to my island around 2 minutes later with an offer of 670 million coins. Now, like I said, I am a master negotiator. So, me being the master negotiator that I am, I decided that 640 million coins was too much for me now. And then I informed him that my new offer has dropped to 620 million coins. Since most of us are smart, we can remember that his original asking price was 850 million coins. And because of master negotiating techniques, we are able to get him down to 640 million coins. This is a 210 million coin difference, which also means that it is just money in my pocket. Now, as you can imagine, this guy was extremely angry with me, but this time he didn't leave. He actually decided to accept the offer of 620 million coins, which I thought was a little too easy. So me being the master negotiator that I am, I decided to decrease my offer from 620 million coins to 610. Now, I really had no real reason to be doing this, but I really just wanted to see if he would go any lower than how low I had already gotten him. I'm also pretty sure at this point in time, he wanted my face wiped off the planet Earth. But that's okay, because sometimes you do what you gotta do. Before I go any further, I do want to quickly mention that we just made a brand new Discord server, and we do have applications open for both mod and mega co-op, so please go join and apply. I quickly want to mention also, if you get somebody that low in price from their original starting offer, you should just go ahead and buy it and not just keep cutting it down like I did unless you really want to. Once I told him about the 610 million coin offer, I did not budge, literally not even a thousand coins because it is really important to stay solid where you are when you're negotiating. He was begging and begging and begging for an extra 10 million coins at least for this item, but I just really didn't want to do it, partly because it's an extremely expensive item and I want to save every penny that I can. 
After a little bit of back and forth, he did finally agree on a 610 million coin offer and we made the trade. Now it's time for step 2 in this negotiating process. Selling the item. Now to make this deal go by in only 5 minutes, obviously I did not list this item on the auction house. What I actually did was I decided to go to a low baller that I just found in a random lobby and just see what he would offer me for this pet. And this is where step 2 in becoming a master negotiator takes place. For now, we will call this low baller Lobi. And the reason I picked this specific low baller was because I saw he had a purse of around 900 million coins, which is around the area that I wanted to sell this item for. So I visited his island and gave him the exact same offer that I was originally given at 850 million coins. And he came back and told me that he would have to look at the auction house and get back to me for a decent offer. Before I go any further, everybody watching this video needs to go and check out Gamer Wolf Skyblock's YouTube channel. He is a new YouTube channel who will be putting out great advice and great videos and help you guys make a lot more money. Now, when Lobi came back after looking from the auction house, he gave me a little bit of an interesting offer. He came straight out of the gate with a 680 million coin offer for my item. And I came back with a 730 million coin counter offer. Which he then replied with another counter offer of 760 million coins which I agreed on. So if we go back to the drawing board, we can remember we bought this item for 610 million coins. And then we were able to sell it back to another lowballer for 760 million coins, giving us a final profit of 150 million coins. Now, I know people are going to want proof of this, so here's the trades. Moral of the story is, buy things other people won't buy for a really, really cheap price, and you'll basically profit every single time. This is my main way of making money, and I have made a more in-depth video on this before, so you guys should go check it out to learn more about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to subscribe, like, and remember to join the Discord server. I'll see you guys in the next video.